Hello and plenty thank you for watching the Koina Dugu and Falaba TV News. My name is Abdul Mansage. Today date is Monday the 14th of October 2024. And today program. Her feature foundation, the Ministry of Gender and Partners, celebrates the International Day of the Girl Child 2024. Host the Republic Girls Parliament on gender-based violence, where they focus on batting them where they happen to girl picking. The Public Girls Parliament na initiative where they give ownership to young women them and girls for discuss issues where they affect them. And same way so for advocates for quick action and support for end gender-based violence. The International Day of the Girl Child this year program will host 20 girls members of parliament, one speaker and one clerk for discuss critical issues and harmful practices. For this year team, say girls vision for the future. All this one be happening at the Kwenadugu District Council Hall. We'll be there for cover the program. At this, we'll be able to get a phone. Now. It is estimated that more than 200 million girls and women alive today have undergone FGM, with 3 million more at risk each year. This practice, not only long lasting, causes physical harm, but also has a long lasting psychological effect on the victims. The economic impact of FGM are far reaching. Women and girls who have undergone FGM often face difficulties in their education and employment. I now open the floor for discussion among the honorable members. Let us share our perspective, experiences, and ideas on how we can collectively address the issue of FGM and create a safer, a safer and more equitable world for everyone. So now, I would like to call on the first speaker, from the proposition side for them to present their arguments. Well, from what the opposition team in the talk, the talk say FGM, they protect girls picking their future and also they prepare them for marriage. We are FGM, not even exposed with girls picking their right now to add marriage. FGM don't make 99% of girls picking their wedding as you are doing right now, don't go into add marriage. This is not when you want to help them they get from India and you know how to take care of you, man, how to do this now, how to do that. We are at the point where they are going into that bono bush. They are not going to say, this is not going to be human when you come out like the bono bush. Objection, my lord. And for clear, if I'm waiting on Olibu Salim and the Senaya so today, I want to tell you, say, when you don't have that bono bush there, according to what you talk, that now breaks if it happens and it passes them there. As for now, the only the king of the government know then they tell you say when you come on and this man here you be married. So I want to clear the fact that this one you say you know it happened because most of us don't have that. Then you know say all the young man don't know who my auntie is because he's not able to see the man. I want to make you know say ninety percent of them are going to go to push up, make them preserve them for the future man there. And ninety percent of them are going to go to push up. Now the man that they take responsibility of everything we have for today. My name is Arifa, I'm the founder and director of Afichua Foundation. Uh, we work with women and girls in Kingdom, in Kwenadu and Falabar District, and by extension, light across the country. Well, this simply means say we get to get the opportunity, we get to end gender-based violence. Anything concerning gender-based violence, we get to try to end them, because at the end of the day, you know, fine. For the seize advantage on girl picking them, give them belly, rip them, you know, all of them things in the end. Also, for put them bundle, like when they discuss the topic here today, this all simply means that the girl picking them don't be aware and now they don't come out for speak against things that really disturb them with critical focus on FGM. Well, my message to partners, them, to government, to everybody, including you, when a media person, I follow all join and together, we end gender based violence, we end the bad things that girl picking them go through, and let us advocate for create a space for women and girl picking them for let them live a better life. I'm from Bunda Mona Good Day. Me, your name is Isma Tujalo, gender person for her future foundation, and also Minister of Gender for Kwenadugi and Falaba Students Union. Um, anyway, we want to tell the participants there and the one that made them support this day. Plenty thank you. They call like this is a day where I read the girl picking and they celebrate. When I read the girl picking and they talk to so, stakeholders then about something where they affect you, something where they mourn away. Um, more especially um, the topic where they talk about here in a way in a FGM and we want to tell them plenty thank you where they don't give you the energy, the zeal for talk about this FGM because like the past five years, you know they are posting the talk about this FGM. A million advice to girls picking them out there, make them not see as competition for say because of 
for example, me is smart to do undergo FGM, you back for undergo I'm no. That not to a competition. Make we get competition within we book learning. Make we get competition to we self. My name is uh, Silvanos Conte and me na the assistant director for the Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs. We do cover both Kona Dugu and Falaba district. Well, this event is very important. This is like a day where Sierra Leone as a country can join the country across the world for observe this day. So it's a day where Gal Pekine can come together with stakeholders them for articulate on those issues that affect them, issues around female genital mutilation, issues around uh, um, sexual penetration, child marriage, you know, teenage pregnancy. All of these are issues where Pekine can come together and um, articulate and together with duty bearers, the government can put things together, laws and policies for help addressing issues and they so in line with the theme this year, we say girls a vision for the future, we can design activities in line with them that theme day. So it is like waiting Konadugo district is doing today, the Ministry of Gender Insurance Affairs and Partners, you know, get a conference girls parliament so to speak where they address issues already picking the face at this part of the country members will get lost them now with salon with salon put in place in line with the international community they about we now they talk about the jury act and the jury act like women's empowerment act you understand eh? gender equality and women's empowerment act so this is why we can there for can raise awareness for me they know say there are a lot of opportunities for them Much for um, allowing us to be with you here today um, for the international day of the girl child um, celebrations um, and this year the theme of the International Day of the Girl Child girls visions for the future so the important thing is that we know and understand what girls want for their own future and part of that is listening to girls so it was really good to be here with you today and listen to the girls parliament and to the other girls from the audience who spoke on this important issue of FGM. But in terms of a, a parliament, your debate has, be, has to be about listening and about coming to the best conclusion. Your friend, she's part of your community. And I think it is by openly discussing um, issues such as FGM, and listening to viewpoints that we can hope to persuade people over to our way of thinking. Not necessarily defeating them, but persuading them. So we we'll want to talk today about how happy are we today, how impressed are we today about not only we members of parliament, but the woman, the young picking and boy picking away then are we audience. Una, thank you. Peter should say, we no need for talk for Una. Una able to talk for Una say. Look how they articulate the issues there. When they talk, when well, one person can talk with Paul something, now my mind I can say, okay, why they reply? I'm going to reply this. The other person go can reply. He talk with him for one talk. Second say, what if you don't get nothing for say because they pick it there. They know the issues. They know how it affect them. And as a bit of now, look how they be they argue now. Yeah, pros and cons, pros and cons. That's why they call it so. So I think say the only thing where they involve the girl picking them. Now the space now you know there for them. For letting them air out their views, for letting them talk. This day, International Day of the Girl Child, it they give another opportunity today. It they give another space, the guy give another space today. For now, I talk on the issue of MGM. As the representative for Ministry of Gender and Children's Affairs Day, for who issues they need to talk about? But when I decide that today, you when I focus on FGM, and when I talk about them, when? So me go just urge no more. I know that this thing can't be there, ministry there. You know, no continue for giving young picking them the space. When they talk about what they want to talk, not to all the time we get. All right, this now waiting come out now the Queen Adobe District Council Hall and uh, plenty thank you to her feature foundation, Boda Arifa, and same way to the Ministry of Gender and Partners for celebrating the International Day of the Girl Child with the Pekindem, Girl Pekindem inside Queen Adobe District and Falaba. 
my name is Abdul Mansaye from the Kwena Dugo and Falaba TV News. Don't forget for support this program and for share the video and same way so for give you comments and um, you know support this program because when you support this program, it will make the program the Tina Tranga one inside Kwena Dugo and Falaba. My name is Abdul Mansaye. Till I get another one, I want to say bye bye.